Terry, this morning yeah. at Distributech, your session was on asset performance management. Right. What is that? Okay, so asset performance management is really about you know, extending asset life. It okay. really goes beyond enterprise asset management and it's starting to understand what are the conditions that indicate degradation of equipment or potential failure, right? Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's really what asset performance management is about, is better understanding the life of your assets and doing maintenance on condition. Now, you're using Maximo for this. I grew up yes. with Maximo Enterprise Asset Management. Yes. How does that fit together? Well, so that's been a long journey. So over eight years ago, we started to move in this direction with a product we called Maximo Asset Health Insights. While at the same time, at IBM and research, we had a number of people looking at particularly uh, electric T&D assets, all right? Oh, okay. And we came out with a product called Insights for Energy. And that was pretty important and started to be used around the world and be deployed in a number of different customers. That later evolved to a product we call APM for ENU. And then we looked at ourselves and said, you know what, we've got these great products, Maximo, Manage, EAM, we've got these APM products we've developed, but they don't have a common UI. You know, they're not working together. Which explains why we actually have asset performance management customers that are SAP customers, PM, in Czechoslovakia, in Spain, in Belgium, you know, uh, Korea, Saudi Arabia, and here in the US. So what we decided to do was we needed to make that a common platform, yep. which is Maximo Application Suite with a common UI that would support the customer through its entire asset life cycle. So ah. enterprise asset management, asset performance management, and asset investment planning, all coming together in one suite. Yet it can still function independently. Ah, okay. So I'm guessing that opens it up that existing customers, new customers. Yes, it opens up to the entire utility market, really. So all sectors of the market, electric, gas, and water, transmission, distribution. And for our existing customers, I mean, to be honest, it's a bit of a heavy lift. You know, they've got a big change. They like the change, they're embracing the change, but it's Red Hat OpenShift, it's containers, it's moving to the cloud. So it's a lot to consider. So we're going to see our customers, and none of them have backed away. But well, we're going to see our customers move into the application suite over the next five years, really. It's going to be quite a journey. It will take some of them some bit of time. For the existing customers, it's like, wow. Because they recognize that IBM Maximo has been in this for over 30 time. years. It stands on a solid foundation, lots of investment. Not only the functionality, but the technology is all there and available. And they know it's going to just continue to grow over time. So for them, it's really exciting, and we're capturing many new logos. So it's exciting stuff. Hey, good stuff. Thanks very much. You're welcome.